everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Cat Stitcher. I'm Kathy, and today is Wednesday, January the 17th, 2018, and it's another snow day for Atlanta. Can you believe it? The last time I was here was December 8th. Yeah, I've been on a little bit of a hiatus. Um, we had that snow day, the day I shot that, the day I posted that video, um, it really shut the city down for a good couple days. We just don't have the street clearing plows and salt trucks like a lot of cities do. And we just really have to wait for everything to melt. And fortunately, here it does pretty quickly. So um, the bad part about it is that her, my, sti my group Stitch Day Christmas Extravaganza was supposed to be on the 9th and it got canceled because none of us could make it. Some of us couldn't even get out of our neighborhoods. So um, we canceled and decided to have the Stitch Day Extravaganza, the Christmas in January, which we had last Saturday, and it was very nice. It was just nice because um, January is one of those months where there's not a lot going on, and so we all turned up with our gifts and our lunch and just, it, was, it was special, and we still put up some Christmas decorations, so it was really nice. And one of the things I don't want to forget to show you is a, a gift that I had made for my Stitch Group members. And it's these little needle minders with my group's name. And I'm going to hold them up. Oh, okay. Sisters and Stitches. Just wanted to show these to you after I gave them to my... Um, my friends, these were made by Sarah at Sandbar Mermaid Shop on Etsy. And I'll put the link below or I'll put her name below so that if you want to go and look at her cool needle minders and she will do custom. Look at how cute those are. I chose one in a plaid and one in floral print. So these I guess are mine that I got left over. So okay. So everybody got a needle minder with our group's name on it. So um, we had a great Christmas. My son, Matt, and daughter-in-law, Steph, were here. And Steph is a knitter and a cross-stitcher and a quilter. So we had a really good time. She spent a lot of time knitting. So I got to see her current project, which was a sweater. That's right. A sweater that she can wear so I was really impressed with that but we just had a really nice Christmas it, not anything really exciting it was just just being together being with family and that was just really wonderful yeah, um, spending just spending a time with you know people you love so that was good and um, since then um, I've had to do some extra hours at work, so I'm a little thrown off by it. Um, I usually, I'm a part-time worker, so adding a few extra hours and working in times I don't usually work has kind of thrown me off a bit. Um, but I'm trying to keep up with stitching because, as you well know, that tends to keep us sane. So, um, I'm trying to do that. I'm looking down at my notes. That's what I'm doing. Maybe I should put my notes up here and look at them. So, um, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go through my whips because this is the first, first post of the year, first video of the year for me. And I just want to kind of review what I've got going on and just kind of see whether I think I'm going to get it finished this year. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, let's do, let's do, do cross stitch rewind real quick. This is a time of year I put this one out. It's Snow White by Little House Needleworks. I love this one. And you know, winter season after Christmas, it stays out such a short little time. You know, maybe through part of February. But I really love it. It was stitched on... I believe 28 count Joblin. I think the color was called denim blue or blue denim. And it's stitched in white silk, Gloriana white silk. Isn't that cool? 
So that's out on display for a little while in the house. But I just love it. Snow White. Okay, let's go to the whips. It's not really a long parade, don't worry. My first one is probably my oldest. It's um, Tulips Praise by Gracewood Stitches, and I've got it in the roll of frame. So, um, and my needle is like flying out. There we go. Um, you can't see too much of it. I have maybe, I don't know, a quarter of it done. The rest of it is rolled up in there. It is really pretty. It's the colors in it are very springtime, spring-like. I love it. There's a picture of what it's going to look like. So I've got part of this done right through here. It's a big piece. I'm stitching it on, I believe it's an 18 count even weave. And it's white or off-white. A lot of info there, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Next one is Rainbow Row. Um, I started this one this year, earlier this year. And I don't have a whole lot done. I'm sorry, I'm hiding myself. I'm hiding all kinds of things. Um, I don't have a lot done on it. I started in the middle, but I do I did work on it more, so I'm actually working on my second house, which is nice. Um, lots of shades of green, lots of shades of everything in this. I think it is 60 colors. I think it's 60 colors. Yeah, well, I guess it's a rainbow, so, you know, but I mean, I think most of them are green. I don't know, that might just be an exaggeration, but <clears throat> it, it is pretty. Will I get it done this year? I don't think so. I think this is like a long, long range kind of thing, long term project. It's going to look like this when it's done. So as you can see, I did a little bit through here. saw in Stitch Mania somebody had finished. No, not finished it. She was working on it. It looked so good. She started from the end, but I am a big time center starter, so that's where I started from. But um, I'm going to keep plugging away, of course, on it because I do like it. It's going to be a real giant project. One thing I didn't make a change, though, um, it's got so much floss in it, and I had them on floss rings, and three floss rings full. And that just wasn't working for me. It was hard to find the colors, so I had miraculously in my craft closet, I had an extra storage, floss storage box, and these are the colors for Rainbow Row. Oh, they were pretty though. Look how pretty they are together. Oh, I really like that. So anyway, better idea, right? Floss rings are great if you have like 12 colors, but 60, mm, no, it was kind of making me crazy. So, okay, let's see what's next. Okay, next is Christmas Sentiments, Stony Creek. Let's see how much I have done. This is the one I worked most on during the Christmas season. So when we were watching movies, Steph was knitting, I'd just take out my cross stitch and work on that. And I did get quite a bit done. It's, I see the progress. I also took this with me when we went. Mark and I went for a long weekend at the beginning of December to St. Augustine, had a great time. I think I told you about that last time. And I took this one with me and I did work on it. So, yep. Am I gonna get it done this year? I think so. In fact, my goal is to have this done and framed and ready to go for next Christmas. What, you don't think I could do it? Or do you think I could do it? 
light upon the lawn. I still think that is so pretty. This is the one that I had to start doing um, over one because my coffee and tea dye experiment turned out really well, but it seemed to make the fabric bigger, if that makes sense. Does it make sense? It's like like the, the, the fibers kind of like drifted apart a bit so that when I started doing over two, it seemed like the X's were huge. So that's all I have done on it. Will I get it done this year? Maybe. I could. I might. That's the plan. I'd like to. Um, next. Mill Hill. Scaredy Cats. That's where I am on it. Haven't started the beading process. Have a little bit more stitching. Working on it. I'm going to get it done. Going to get it done by Halloween. I will. Okay, so then the last one that is seasonal, I think. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Be Ye Thankful Cricut Collection. So I've got, this is the one that I unearthed from my craft closet. I don't know when I started it. I found it and I said, why did I stop stitching it? That's it. I'd like to have this done by Thanksgiving. Am I being realistic? I don't know. I don't know. With, with the way that I'm working right now, it's like I don't get in nearly as much stitching time as I used to in it as much as I like. So, um, I finally started... Lenina Threads Mystery Sampler from 2017. Remember, these are online at Lenina Threads Mystery Sampler, and they're free. This is just January. My friend Thea is doing this in what I think is very close to this color, and she's already in February. And here's how much I have on this giant piece of fabric. That's it. That's all you get. Um, it's a start. Hey, this is one of my starts for the year. Yay. That's happy, isn't it? Okay. All right. And then another start. Frosty Forest. I'm trying not to get a glare. Oh, look at Frosty Forest. Starting in the middle, putting them all in one piece of fabric. Here it is. Here's my start. It said rest, so I did. I rested. I said, okay, it's time to rest. It is being stitched on 32 count Belfast in pearl gray. And it is very pretty and I like it very much. So. It's going to look good all together on this. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to stitch them just as they are in, the, in their own little squares. I saw something online where somebody had it where all of them were connected somehow. I can't figure out how they did that. It was cool, but that's that was not my original intention, so I'm just going to do it like I originally wanted to do it and just do it in their little squares with little borders around them. So... That will be that. And my last start for 2018. No, it's not my last one because you know what? No, no doubt there's going to be more than more starts than this. I mean, don't you think? Yeah. Forest Snowfall. Country Cottage Needlework. Oh, did I mention also... That's Country Cottage Needlework to Frosty Forest. Yes. Okay. Um, this one was 
meant to be started as a sal stitch along for those of you who want to know um priscilla and chelsea and i think that probably a great many of the stitchers in the stitch long had this completely done before i put stitch number one in so i don't know maybe i should just like really admit to myself that I am not a stitch long person. It's just, it's never going to happen. But I did get a good start on it. I did. I mean, I like it. I like this fabric. It is 28 count. I think it's Joblin. It could be Lugana. But it's, um, Fabrics by Stephanie, Winter Wishes, one of the most beautiful fabrics I've ever stitched on. I think it's gorgeous. I love this fabric. It's, I really like it for this too. So I think I can finish this. This is not a, a really involved, I mean, a lot of it is the word, wording and the little motif. I think the hardest part, the most time consuming part will be the house. So, pretty though. I like it. And that, that's my, those are my whips. Active ones. I probably have a couple buried in the closet right in there that um, I need to come to terms with whether I'm going to finish them or not. I think that would be a good thing to do in 2018. Just decide whether... I'm going to actually work on some some of them. I have two in mind that I haven't worked on in years. So, um, my goals for 2018 are, I don't know, to get a few of these done. Especially the seasonal ones that I started last year or before last year. I'd really like to get those done. So, um, I'm probably going to also have a few more starts. I'm still planning to do some more of the Snowflower Diaries Joyful World monthly series. I'd really like those. Those are so cute to have out. Right now I have the little January Fox out. It's just so nice to have something out in the winter. So um, I'm, I'll, I'll do some more of those. I'll start some more of those. And also the Little House Needleworks. Is it the farmhouse? Oh man, it's the new one that's coming out. Ah, you know what I'm talking about. I'll figure it out and I'll put it in the comments or in the description down below. Um, that is so cute and I got, I, I signed up for auto ship for that and I think I'm going to do them all in little separate pieces. So, um, I haven't bought much, which is really good. I mean, I don't really need to buy anything else, everybody, as you know. But I did get one thing. It was a after oh, after Christmas sale. It was um at Kohl's. It popped up. It just popped up out of nowhere, and I said, oh, I've got to have that. So what I did was I ordered it from the store and they just held it for me. I went, it's like an online pickup. And so there's no shipping involved. This, $10, look at it. It's really, really well made. It has a hanger on it. And well, this is already on and I think it's cute. So it's all right. I don't know if it would ever come off, even if I wanted it to. Here's the thing. It's pretty big. I don't know how big this is. I don't know, 20 inches high by about a foot. I want to put, I want to do a Priscilla fide thing to put on here. And I want it a cute Christmas chart to stitch that is oriented this way long ways to to put on it so okay here's your job suggestions in the comments below 
what could I stitch to put on it? That Remember, it's got to be oriented this way, which is like a portrait. Yes, portrait way. The other way is landscape. Yeah, the so portrait way, this way. So what do you think? Put any suggestions below. I will take any suggestions. I need some help. I think this is so cute. And I would like to put something on it. So anyway, check out Kohl's. They still might have them. Got mine for $10. Pretty good, right? All right. I'm going to put that over here so it doesn't fall. Um, let's see. And thank you in advance for any help you give me. I'm in my comfy chair today. And so if I'm rocking and I look too comfortable, well, that's what kind of day it is. Um, I watched some new floss tubers, which is always nice. Um, I like to see who's new. I have my favorites that I have already subscribed to and I watch all or most of their videos. But then I like to watch new ones, see what's going on. And um, three of the ones I watched this week, I watched Nina X Stitch. So it's not written out cross stitch, it's written X stitch, Nina X stitch, Misty Purcell, P U R S E L, and Couch Cross Stitcher. So shout outs to all three of them. I enjoyed their videos. They've got really cute projects going on, and I enjoyed watching and seeing what was going on with them. Check them out. And I'm going to try to do um every time I do a video I'd like to do a my my favorite video of the week I guess just something I've watched recently that I really enjoyed and the one that I watched the other night was from Cindy's Cross Stitch you know her if you don't you need to go and watch Cindy's Cross Stitch but she's got a very cool tutorial video out right now it's called how to finish a cross stitch piece into a round or oval ornament okay you've got to watch this video she's very clear she's she ends up with the, with the coolest finished round ornament and if you've ever been kind of puzzled as how they get that so neat watch it and you'll see what she does so it, I always appreciate any kind of a tutorial to help me along and um, the more detailed it is the better and uh, we talked about this at our stitch day the other day that it, it's it's so appreciated to have every detail spelled out for you because sometimes we just don't know we don't know what what kind of materials you're using or you know and when when somebody tells you all that it's like oh yeah i could do that so cindy's video what you have to see this remember it's called how to finish a cross stitch piece into a round or oval ornament it's really cool she finished this one right there in front of you so watch it see anything else let's see um I'm going to try to get some stitching in today because, um, like I said, today's a snow day. We got a dusting of snow over some ice. It started raining last night, and I, you know, I was refusing to believe that this was going to turn into anything. And, um, but like they said, it did start to rain, and... Then it started snowing. And then by this morning, I got the call at about 6.30. Well, we're not going to start till about 12.15 work. And I said, ah, okay. And then at 8 o'clock, I got one another one that said, enjoy your day off. So nobody much was going anywhere today. So today could be a good stitching afternoon. So that's probably where I am headed right now to stitching land. So um, I can't think of anything else. I think that probably does it for my first video back after the holidays. Happy 2018. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please, any kind of suggestions you want to give me about anything, Please do put it in your comments. 
Um, and don't forget my shutter. My shutter with its little bells. What can I put on it? That's the question of the week for me. So, um, help. Help me with that. Find something cute for me to stitch. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll, I'll see you again soon, hopefully with a lot more progress. And I'll let you know what's going on. All right. Have a great stitching week and weekend. And if you're in a cold place, stay warm. Bye.